Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Virgo. This is going to be for the uh, first half of June from the 1st to the 15th. You can, you can apply this to uh, any, of your any of your placements because anything could come up. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the uh, first half of June. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, um, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo here, uh, people. So not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, uh... Virgo, energy checking for Virgo, over energies for Virgo for the first half of their June from the 1st to the 15th for Virgo, for Virgo. So we have the mind, inspiration, mood, cycle, give to the mind and it will give back. So this is about self-care here. This is about taking care of your mind, basically getting rid of the clutter that could be blocking you from getting the inspiration that you need in order for you to perhaps succeed in life here, okay? So this is about, you know, worries here, you know, kind of like letting go of your worries and sort of like surrendering to the process here, okay? Um, you know, this is about taking time out to meditate so that you have a clear mind and, and clear head and that you're more, you know, sort of like you know, sort of like uh, you're more creative to do things here, okay? The forbidden forest, be your bravery, persistence, redemption here. You are so brave to keep going the way that you do. So this is about pushing forward and about achieving your own personal goals here. You know, perhaps you guys are learning not, I wouldn't say, you know, just keep in mind when you meditate, it doesn't mean that you have to completely shut off the mind. This is about processing things that are no longer uh, processing things and uh, letting go of things that are no longer serving a purpose in your life here, you know? And meditation is also a great tool to, like, manifest here, too, uh, because this is about connecting with yourself. And what you're meant to do, a lot of the times, it's already embedded there into, into your DNA. So if you could take some time out to meditate, you will find the answers of what you're looking for here in life, all right? Because it doesn't come from the outside, it comes from within. So we have evolution. Some of you guys are going through a major evolution here. A huge transformation you know some of you guys are really standing your power here because so i feel like you guys are coming into a, like kind of like an understanding of yourself at this time here with full spectrum okay so I, I feel like you guys at this time could be receiving a lot of messages and downloads here from the universe all right this is also about trusting your inner voice your inner guidance here your intuition we have yeah aqua luna i am grateful and blessed Candle magic, everyday things get better and better. So things are getting better for you guys. So some of you guys are really disciplined about what you're doing here for yourself. And I feel like you guys are achieving your own personal goals here. You guys are consistent. You guys are disciplined. And I feel like you guys are committed to your own personal growth and spiritual goal at this time here. All right. What else do we have here for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for, work on for June. First half of June from the 1st to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo, for Virgo, for Virgo. We have the Emperor and the Empress, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Energy. Interesting. Some of you guys could be aligning your divine feminine and your masculine energy at this time here, okay? So this could be the evolution that you're going through where I feel like you guys are going through some sort of spiritual ascension here, okay? With the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the world. So some of you guys could be leaving your past selves behind here, you know, and stepping into this new version of yourself of, you know, alignment and balance here, okay? Um, and just just that this interconnectedness with yourself here okay 
Yeah, there's like this like no giving up energy here with the with this card, the forbidden forest here, bravery, persistence, and redemption. What else do we have here? We have the King of Wands here and the Four of Pentacles. This is also about letting go of people here. That's not providing you a safe space in your life here to be you. Yeah. So I feel like right now, you know, there's just, just a strong energy of just really taking care of yourself at this time here. Yeah, there's like a strong commitment in your own personal growth and your spiritual growth here. And I feel like it's really paying off. Even though if you're not seeing results, even though if you're wondering if, if you're on the right path here, you're definitely on the right path here, Virgo. Tell me if the Emperor, why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? The Emperor here in the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Empress, why is the Empress here? And the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo. You're in this energy of de definitely master manifesting here. And I do feel like there's a lot of opportunity that is coming in for you guys here, okay? So new opportunities are coming in for you guys uh, from the universe uh, because I feel like you guys are just so tapped and at this time you know some of you guys could be getting like a job offer here or a promotion or a raise here that will you know um you know that where you will sort of like excel in your uh career path here okay but you know i feel like with the magician here you, you guys are definitely making things happen there's a lot of people in this read here we have the queen of swords libra Aquarius, gemini the world in the tower here it just seems like this transformation that you're stepping into right now, this change that you're stepping into, you know, I feel like things will never be the same again. There's just some huge shifts and changes like in and around you when it comes to people that are in your life here at this time, okay? Tell me about the King of Wands here. Why is the King of Wands here? The King of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? And the Moon, wow. You guys are really tapped into your intuition at this time. Yeah, I feel like your intuition is telling you something here. And I feel like you're trusting it. I feel like that's the change that's happening. Because, you know, uh, with the mind, you know, um, you know, Virgos tend to be in the mind a lot here. And you feel like you guys are definitely stepping out of that or that you guys are finding a balance here. Okay, tell me the four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here? And the three of pentacles. You know, I feel like when it comes to your work here, I feel like your work situation is definitely picking up here. Some of you guys could be working a lot more here or that you guys are working a lot together with other people here, okay? Uh, but I do feel like there's some sort of huge shift, some huge change that's uh, perhaps, you know, with the work here, some of you guys, the evolution is that you guys are, you know, getting promoted here. You guys are reaching your highest, highest point in your career path and you guys could be you know kind of like running the show here yeah you, you know there, there could be people that are under you here that you could be managing here too okay so i just feel like there's huge shifts huge changes that are happening in your life at this time perhaps in all area all areas of your life just not personal so um you know uh, this could be in love someone here could be making you a strong offer in love here you could be meeting your divine partner here so virgo i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye